welcome folks we will uh, begin chapter number 9 which is about non destructive testing and quality control of electrical equipment what determines the quality of the electrical equipment of course the dimensions the uh, cross sectional areas metal of metallic conductors and all these things do but one of the main concern is always that of electrical insulation provided to the equipment you select an electrical insulation they will go to the objectives we select an electrical insulation knowing its quality performance and uh, uh, desired values of i mean its uh, uh, functional uh, capabilities etc and then you provide it over the equipment sometimes you, there will be some kind of a flaw or a mistake in providing the insulation designed value or a designed magnitude designed value of insulation so how to ensure that that your product uh, will give you the desired life of at least 40 years it is estimated that when you have an equipment like you have cable you have transformer but it gives you satisfactory service for a period of at least 40 years there are gadgets which are giving service for even a century if it is uh, uh, designed well it if it is uh, maintained well it is taken care of Uh, with protection system etc they may give you life over centuries you don't want to change every now and then all the gadgets and the most crucial among uh, uh, among the other things uh, once you fix the cross sectional area and you confirm it it's okay the most vulnerable part becomes the electrical insulation for an electrical insulation to give a long uh, service satisfactory service is always a question so you must ensure that the gadget of yours will give you a desired length of service satisfactory service no problems should arise and that we determine what we call it to be a uh, method to uh, of measurement systems parameters of a dielectric insulation properties etc the quality of finish of the insulation on an equipment then there are in broad sense uh, methods as you see here on the top high voltage withstand test of insulation it is uh, slightly above the rated voltage or rated function uh, functional voltage of the equipment you uh, apply slightly above that on the uh, equipment for a limited period sometimes it is prescribed as 5 minutes sometimes various standards differ 10 minutes and even 15 minutes so if nothing happens to the equipment you take it for granted that the insulation is all right but in no case when you apply higher voltage any damage should be caused to the insulation or any damage also should not be initiated in the process 
by applying higher voltage. That has to be ensured. And that is a question of uh, experience. That is a question of uh, quality of the insulation, quality of finish, that no damage to the insulation should occur or no initiation of any da damaging process for example treeing process in case of solid dielectric should be able to begin so uh, that is why the uh, after the high voltage very important uh, test is as you can read the third the partial breakdown measurement techniques partial breakdown measurement on an equipment is an elaborate um, method and also uh, specified standardized by various uh, st uh, specifications uh, most commonly follow followed in the world and in our country also is IEC International Electrotechnical Commission then I uh, there are other uh, recommended procedures of high voltage testing of electrical apparatus we'll uh, learn what are the other methods with which you can assess the quality of finish of the dielectric on and equipment yeah as you can see here these testing this these methods of testing are known as non-destructive testing what do you mean by non-destructive testing as i mentioned in no case due to the measurement you do apply some voltage and or even higher voltage than the rated voltage no damage should be caused because of applying uh, any voltage on the equipment and uh, not even initiation of the uh, uh, damaging process you can say uh, should happen uh, the insulation systems in different equipment you have to visualize a transformer very complicated complex insulation system is needed to be provided to the transformers the transformers will have uh, taped insulation over the windings that is you can say the solid insulation that could, was uh, given out of paper a very special kind of paper ins uh, uh, tape insulation now nowadays uh, other uh, uh, materials are being uh, that is plastic uh, fiberglass reinforced plastic tape materials etc are also being given perspex uh, etc then uh, you have in the cables earlier paper and uh, impregnating compound was used nowadays the PVC is still being used but for all high voltage cables it is cross link polyethylene since last couple of decades because that has been found to be the most suitable dielectric cross linked polyethylene uh, that is being given to all practically all high voltage cables power cables I'm talking about then bushings are there bushings are uh, housed in a porcelain container nowadays the fiberglass reinforced plastic containers filled inside with uh, oil and sealed on both ends which provide the through passes to the high voltage conductors then you have PTs potential transformers uh, uh, current transformers you have circuit breakers you have gas insulated systems 
and the most important most uh, recent i must say has become the gas insulated transformers have been produced every gadget must be tested uh, for non destructive testing to assess the quality of finish of the insulation provided to the equipment so that is a process we uh, have to go through that is desirable from the point of view of manufacturer that the manufacturer is producing a quality product for which the service life can be assured or uh, or and it is also very much desirable from the utility the one who uses these equipment he must uh, be ensured that that the quality of finish of the equipment insulation is uh, up to the mark is good enough and he is purchasing a good uh, product so from both the sides manufacturer as well as the yeah, utility both the sides uh, desire assessment of the quality control or uh, of the quality of finish of the electrical insulation and all this is performed with the help of a number of non destructive testing of the electrical equipment as you read here uh, non destructive uh, uh, testing of electrical equipment implies assessment of the quality of electrical insulation finish provided to the equipment as i mentioned it is required to in order to ensure the satisfactory service of the equipment over the stipulated life span as i said minimum 40 years it is expected the longer life it gives better it is for um, the uh, for everybody um, for the economy for the utility and then the uh, manufacturer is also proud of it if it gives satisfactory life over a century then the um, measurement techniques adopted are mainly electrical for assessing the quality of finish of the, the electric the measurement on um, the equipment is uh, the techniques are uh, electrical and uh, uh, as it implies the non destructive test measurements should not cause any damage to the equipment yet reveal the quality and condition of the dielectric uh, uh, of the dielectric uh, stipulated performance for that reason another technique has come up and that is called uh, 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 condition monitoring of the insulation rather people say condition monitoring of the equipment that is when the equipment is giving you service its the condition of its insulation can be monitored continuously if something wrong begins you the uh, condition monitoring techniques reveal that something is going on wrong and if possible some measure should be taken or shutdown should be taken to ensure uh, no fault to occur uh, because of the failure of insulation so condition monitoring online you can say when the equipment is uh, in service energized continuously you can monitor the condition of its dielectric there are methods developed these days you know because some equipment as you can imagine suppose it is a 650 megawatt generator it's a very big generator generating um, 
power to the tune of 650 megawatt. Anything can happen within the equipment. So you must monitor its condition. Basically, you monitor the, monitor the condition of the insulation provided to the windings in the generator. And if anything goes wrong, uh, there are methods, there are ways to take care about it and uh, to avoid any uh, unprecedented uh, failure of the equipment. Hmm? And these tests are done to assess the electrical properties, the electrical measurements, as I mentioned, this, for example, IR, uh, as you can uh, read it here, IR is the uh, electrical mm, insulation resistance. IR is insulation resistance, dielectric loss factor, that is your uh, dielectric loss factor, is, uh, you know that, the blood, tan delta, which gives you the an estimation or assessment of the real power loss within the insulation. Relative permittivity, every dielectric has got epsilon r. Epsilon naught is a constant. So epsilon r is a function of the applied voltage, frequency, and the temperature of the dielectric. So measurement of relative permittivity is also uh, performed to assess the quality of the dielectric. As I mentioned, partial breakdown measurement, there are certain minimum or rather certain maximum magnitude of partial breakdown or the discharge due to partial breakdown permissible. And the partial breakdown me measurement can assure whether uh, under the rated working voltage condition, the partial breakdown or the discharge due to partial breakdown is within the limits or not. Besides, number of physical measurements are done. I mean, not electrical uh, quality, the physical measurement of the conductor size, thickness of insulation, uh, etc. If there is oil, the quality of oil is or can be also assessed by uh, the Test performed on um, uh, transform, or you can say, or uh, oil used in the uh, equipment. So all these measurements uh, or uh, ass assessment techniques for the dielectric uh, or the condition of the dielectric uh, is uh, made to ensure a good quality product and uh, to provide a satisfactory service of life of as long as possible, minimum of 40 years. So that is the, uh, I mean, I hope I, you have uh, been able to uh, try, try to explain it to you. You have to visualize in a, a factory where the production is going on and every factory has got a high voltage laboratory where these measurements have to be performed. Every manufacturer would like to deliver a quality product. How can he ensure the quality uh, of the product he's manufacturing? Only with the help of non-destructive testing procedures. So all these things are performed within the factory itself. Yeah, uh, if you read uh, here, uh, right from the beginning, the high voltage tests can, uh, on power apparatus are categorized. Who would categorize? Can be, you should be able to think four types of tests are categorized. 
obviously who would categorize it the specifications the standards and uh, these are uh, standardized the methods the tests what it includes what it does not uh, st specification so everything is uh, done under the banner of the uh, particular specification with which the product has been made or it has been produced so four types of uh, tests are uh, categorized routine test from the name itself routine which is a general uh, test uh, and routine test must be performed uh, this is um, this is performed by the manufacturer obviously to uh, satisfy himself that he is manufacturing quality product the routine test uh, demonstrates the correct pro uh, production of the product in conformity of the specifications followed the so many specification one may be following certain specification so this uh, routine test is actually the um, duty or responsibility of the uh, manufacturer itself let me tell you one thing uh, some of the tests are performed not only on the finished product or finished apparatus but when the apparatus is in the process of manufacture for example uh, power cable at intermediate state of power cable production high voltage test is also performed to ensure the quality of insulation uh, when the uh, when the metallic conductor or we call it core also core has been provided the electrical insulation before other layers come over the insulation at for once the uh, uh, length of cable may have to go through high voltage test whether the um, insulation provided uh, is of quality i mean if there is no i mean it's to ensure that there is no weak point or flaw uh, in the insulation so uh, inter at not only the finished products intermediate state stage of the production of various equipments uh, tests are also performed then the second one is type test as you can read it here the type test it has been named to be type test this is also performed by the manufacturer but on a sample product from the uh, production i mean if similar kind of uh, uh, production of number of products similar kind of number of products are being manufactured randomly you select one and perform type test uh, type test may include uh, other than simple high voltage test uh, etc the other measurement techniques uh, may have to be provided uh, there uh, so that is known as type test that is also performed by the manufacturer picking up a random product in a series of uh, production you can say commissioning test then what happens when an equipment is finished it is transported to the place where it is needed to be installed sometimes the uh, product is so big for example uh, a transformer when it is big transformer 
when it is transported it will not be transported uh, after filling the oil in it because oil will increase the weight tremendously and oil is filled there only after it is installed at the place so uh, the commissioning test uh, uh, as it says here in this test very large power equipment are often transported in parts and reassembled at the site i just gave a simple example of filling the oil it could be also uh, that the whole product is, is if it is so big that it is difficult to be transported such huge mass it is uh, transported in parts and reassembled at the site of installation hence quality acceptance tests need to be performed before commissioning or after uh, is one and same thing after installation at the site how will you have a big high voltage transformer test transformer what we learned in a couple of lectures back you cannot carry those big high voltage uh, transformers uh, test transformers for performing the test then what do you do i was talking about the high voltage dc test equipment are much smaller in size one of the main reason behind is uh, when you apply on an insulation dc the amount of current required is very very small because there is no charging current uh, formed uh, by the insulation um, the, in the for the capacitor formed by the insulation so when you apply dc so the amount of uh, current rate or the current rating of the high voltage dc test set is very small that reduces also the total size of the uh, uh, dc test set and there are mobile dc test sets available which are carried uh, to the site and then dc the, this kind of uh, testing at the site that is come before commissioning is performed at the site with the help of dc high voltage dc test sets obviously the magnitude of test we'll talk about it when you are testing with dc may be slightly higher than the when you are testing with ac the reason is that uh, you can there the, is no current flowing through the dielectric i mean very very small current is flowing or the polarization because of the polarization only no charging current is flowing so in that case what happens that uh, the uh, the it is desire it is also with the experience that an uh, dielectric can withstand higher dc voltage as compared to the ac voltage if we talk in the uh, sense of rms value it can withstand higher uh, certainly the problems uh, when you apply ac the problems always begin at the peak value so uh, here in dc there is no peak value so uh, you can say uh, a peak value of the ac uh, could be used for the test purpose isn't it you get the point uh, any problem any initiation initiation of the problem when you apply ac begins at the peak value of the ac voltage and we do talk about uh, rms value in day to day life but things begin at peak value so you must apply when you are testing with dc at least the the magnitude of the voltage which is equivalent to the peak value of the ac voltage this is a simple concept so the 
uh, the uh, voltage requirement uh, um, is slightly higher. Uh, test voltage requirement is slightly higher for with DC as compared to the AC power frequency. So, uh, and uh, these are also specified that when you are testing at site, what magnitude of DC voltage you should apply on the test object or on the gadget, different types of gadget, different rated voltage gadgets, etc. Then the last, uh, as you see, is the performance test, the test after installation or complete system um, uh, at the site of the installation under operational conditions, under operational conditions. That means uh, when it is uh, under operation, another method will come to it is uh, that is uh, these, uh, for example, especially for the transformer, can be tested by giving higher voltage at the primary itself which will generate higher voltage on both the sides of the transformer. The secondary voltage is equivalent to the test voltage is produced by giving higher voltage at the primary side. That's another way of uh, assessing or performing the acceptance test, you can say, uh, of the equipment at the site. Yeah, among the uh, type tests, oh, there are many type tests. For example, you can imagine um, installations in the coastal areas. Even in our country, we have a very long uh, length of coastal areas, something like 5,000 kilometers is the coastal area. And at the coastal areas, because of the sea, water uh, fumes coming in this kind of a, a salt deposition on the conductors or on the electrical gadgets so uh, the salt deposition test also known as uh, I mean one of the type tests is salt uh, deposition test is also prescribed or I mean details are given in the specifications is that you must spray uh, the salt, how much salt, what is the uh, concentration of the salt in the water and how much you should spray, how much voltage you should apply, just to ensure that under such uh, conditions of uh, atmosphere, the equipment continues to give you satisfactory service. Similarly, you can also imagine in the areas where is a lot of snow uh, fall takes place and snow deposits on the gadgets. For example, the transformer is installed in an area where a lot of snowfall is there. Snow will fall on the transformer also. So when, uh, uh, when therefore you must test the transformer for certain magnitude of snow deposition on the top of the transformer. So these are type tests under severe weather condition. You can, another one, you can say under very high rain conditions. In some areas in the world, the intensity of rain is very, very high. You must ensure when it is raining and the gadget is installed in open, it should not give up, it should not get damaged. So the type test, what we, we have been talking here, here, as you can see it here, include all these special kind of tests. That means under uh, specific weather conditions uh, or atmospheric uh, conditions, such tests 
are performed. Obviously, when we uh, perform uh, uh, the type test, uh, in uh, in some cases, uh, uh, in in some cases, routine tests may include the impulse voltage tests, but may not be in all the cases. So the uh, impulse high impulse voltage uh, tests uh, are also included in uh, the type test that you take some sample randomly and test it with impulse voltage uh, application to ensure that the traveling wave over voltage traveling waves do not damage the insulation so this is uh, i mean a concept of the testing and quality control is a very very large very very uh, wide field in high voltage engineering and the test equipment we have uh, talked about in the last chapter that was your uh, high voltage uh, ac power frequency high voltage dc high voltage the impulse voltages etc how do we generate and you make use them of them for the measurement purpose yeah let me see if i have yeah the last year uh, the uh, performance test when we talk about the performance test the test after installation on complete system is performed at the site of the uh, installation under operational conditions is also done oh. yeah 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 uh, uh, let's begin with most common and most widely uh, applicable uh, test uh, quality control test for the electrical equipment and that uh, most common and most widely uh, applicable test is uh, which is a must you can say is the ac power frequency high voltage uh, test you could say testing with ac power frequency voltage the individual phase yeah how it is done the that I have talked about it. Uh, suppose it's a three-phase gadget. Uh, three-phase gadget comes into question uh, mainly in transformer uh, or even the you know, generator. You can say, uh, in case of power cables, uh, nowadays very high voltage power cables are manufactured single core cable, or uh, and when you use it in the three phase system you lay instead of one uh, three uh, cables in parallel so uh, they are single um, phase you can say cables so in case of individual phase insulation is tested in three phase systems three phase gadgets uh, individual phase insulation is tested that means you can test it one by one where uh, applying the high voltage the other uh, uh, other electrode to be grounded or uh, what is done the uh, the uh, individual phase insulation is tested between the phase and the neutral or ground neutral normally is considered to be at zero potential so there i mean uh, neutral oblique ground is uh, uh, we, we call it 
Uh, otherwise, we have learned that there is a vast difference between neutral and crowd. But when you are testing, it doesn't make much of a difference because you are doing it in the laboratory, which under normal conditions have to maintain a zero potential. Both neutral and the ground have to maintain a zero potential. If the rated RMS voltage of uh, uh, an equipment is UN, as you can see, RMS voltage, the rated voltage is UN, the voltage between the phase and the neutral or the ground is given by uh, uh, UN by root 3, which is equal to U0, the concept of U0, that is between the phase and the ground. And actually, the electrical insulation uh, goes through this voltage continuously between the phase and the ground. That means the electrical insulation provided in every phase has to withstand a voltage between phase and the ground continuously over its life. So that U0 concept is uh, taken into consideration. The magnitude of power frequency high test voltage for each phase as prescribed by different standards vary from 2 to 3 uh, U0. From 2 to 3 U0. Some follow even 2.5 U0. Uh, and this high voltage, high test voltage, uh, the duration for which it is applied on the object may vary from 1 minute to 15 minutes. As you can see it here, from, from 1 minute to 15 minutes, you have to uh, uh, hold application of this magnitude of voltage for uh, 1 to 15 minutes as prescribed by the standard you are following. And it depends upon the country or the uh, international uh, specification. IEC uh, is the one and different countries may have different specified magnitude of the voltage. So uh, I think we can mm, yeah we can make a uh, break here uh, and uh, we will be talking about the uh, uh, high voltage AC power frequency uh, test recommendations and uh, high voltage uh, for uh, high inductive value and high capacitive value test objects. We have discussed in depth when the high capacitive value of the of the ins, uh, insulation of the test object is there. We have talked about the resonant transformer, provision of resonance transformers and uh, uh, provision of uh, uh, equalizing the inductive, so yeah, inductive and capacitive uh, reactances uh, producing a resonant condition. So that uh, we'll be discussing a little more in depth in the next uh, lectures. So let's call it a day. Thank you very much. We'll see in the second lecture of chapter 9 uh, tomorrow.